In this video, we'll talk about the truth about goals. So what exactly are goals? The common meaning of goal is something that any person wishes to achieve, but only we ourselves can truly define our unique goals to ourselves. As it is subjected to define a person's goal to another, the chances for a person achieving his or her goal can depend on various factors, as shown by multiple researches from various fields of study. While some pursuits of success are limited by certain factors, there are others whose success grows on different factors. Industry experts, business people, motivational speakers, entrepreneurs have all shared their knowledge, methods, and skills with us to achieve our targets or emulate their success. Despite that, many have often overlooked the importance of setting their goals clear enough to utilize the information and skills they possess effectively. So how do we perfectly set goals that will launch our work to success? Before trying to answer this question, we must first understand why so many have failed to even set their goals. The late Bruce Lee once said, Don't fear failure. Not failure, but low aim is the crime. In great attempts, it is glorious even to fail. Here are the ten reasons why people fail at setting goals. 1. Not realizing the importance of setting goals. 2. Writing only the long-term goals. 3. Pre-belief that it won't work. 4. Writing our goals as negative statements. 5. Setting generic goals. 6. Fail to measure their results. 7. Setting irrelevant goals. 8. Setting unrealistic goals. 9. Not having reasonable time frame for achievement. 10. Opinions of others. 1. Not realizing the importance of setting goals. Do you know what is the most habitual mistake during the planning stage? It is to ignore the importance of setting goals. In fact, most who do not understand that specifying goals for both the short term and the long term cannot find purpose, meaning, or even inspiration in their efforts to achieve the goals set. Such mistakes do not only affect an individual or an organization's course of actions, but also the attitude towards the goals. Without a sense of purpose or meaning of the goals, one cannot simply use passionate effort to achieve success. Goals are not just tasks on a to-do list which you can tick off once you've completed it. Goals can also be stepping stones to a bigger cause in life. Therefore, you should define your goals clear enough before you set yourself on your journey. 2. Writing only the long-term goals Our focus on the end results have often derailed us as our progress is not constructively planned when we have only set long-term goals, but not the short-term ones which are required to accomplish the long ones. Setting short-term goals in sight of the long one is to help us focus on one goal at a time and build on each success to reach further and apparently achieve our long-term goals. Usually this sort of achievement satisfies us even more in the end. 3. Pre-belief that it won't work. Those who have such belief usually have very consistent reasoning on rejecting certain ideas before reaching the final stages of setting their goals. As such, during the stages of setting goals, one should embrace the foreseeable challenges after sufficient analysis and not be discouraged by them. However, overanalyzing and constantly filling ideas and efforts with doubts will definitely end the goal-setting process earlier than expected. During the stages of goal-setting, we also have to acknowledge that it would not be possible to answer all the questions and create substantial plans to overcome the foreseeable challenges. 4. Writing our goals as negative statements Instead of working towards something we want, writing our goals as something we try to avoid or as obstacles we do not wish to overcome may affect our motivation to finish work. How we write our goals down can really affect how we view it. In other words, nobody wants his or her goals to sound discouraging. For example, writing, lift less than 120 pounds from my bench press, definitely does not sound as inspiring as, good job on lifting 100 pounds on the bench press, try lifting 120 pounds next week. The way the goals are written should inspire us to be dedicated to our goals and not try to instill the fear of failure in us. 5. Generic Goals Having goals that are often too similar to others around your age usually means the goals you have set are not specific enough. So how does this deter you from being successful? Not having enough details on how your goals should specifically be means the effort which you will use might not be able to help you achieve whatever targets. 6. Measuring Results Measuring results is not only a good way of ensuring you are on the right track to your long-term goals. Besides, it gives you the chance to improve results based on the goals you have specified during goal setting. Business leaders and entrepreneurs often face this problem of utilizing the right tools to measure the progress of their businesses. Those who have no idea how to measure the progress of their work during the goal setting process are doomed to fail. 
Most are disillusioned by monetary profits they gained earlier on. 7. Setting irrelevant goals. Wasting time on goals that are not relevant to the aim or missions in your life will not benefit you in the long term. Besides, having too many goals at one time and not being able to produce results for each goal after so much effort will only damage your progress towards the long-term goal. Stay focused on the goals and try to achieve one goal after another. 8. Setting unrealistic goals. If you set goals which you could not realistically achieve over a certain period of time, you will feel discouraged and eventually will give up on chasing after your goals. So don't kill your chances of achieving your goals by being unrealistic. In setting your goals, you must set short-term goals or stepping stones for you to reach the bigger goals. These stepping stones will also nurture you for facing bigger challenges in your pursuit of your dreams. At the end of the day, it's important to be ambitious but not too unrealistically excited. 9. Not having a reasonable time frame for achievement. While you can measure results with the realistic goals you have set, time is always an important factor as any delay in achieving your goals means less can be done to achieve it. Some goals have their time limits, and so progress must be measured over a certain amount of time. 10. Opinions of others. The opinion of others may have considerable weightage in our goal-setting process, especially if these people are close to us like our family, colleagues, and friends. It is therefore understandable that we may have set our goals based on most of their opinions. The risk of setting goals of others under the illusion that you share those goals might actually be similar to the risks of setting irrelevant goals, as you have read in mistake number 7. If those goals are solely based on the opinions of others, you will not be able to feel the satisfaction of achieving them, especially if they are not truly your goals. What is goal setting? After learning of the common mistakes of goal setting, it is easy to believe that we could achieve our goals as long as we could define the obstacles and the methods to succeed. However, what most people have neglected throughout their journey of pursuing success is the sheer determination to sacrifice many other things along the way. Many may want to be famous and successful with their work, but few realize that having goals is just the easy part. After all, very few people can give up their lifestyles, doubt their beliefs, or even risk their relationships with people to thrive. The sky is the limit. Everybody wants a gold medal. Not many are willing to train, eat, and live like a world champion. In other words, setting goals with only the future rewards in sight will not prepare us well mentally. To be the best, we must be able to bear all the costs to reach our goals. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.